Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Jeanine Pirro. Thanks for being with us. Tonight, Fox News uncovers the Benghazi smoking gun, my opus on ISIS, and Bill O'Reilly. Is he a sexist? But first, three U.S. security operatives on the ground in Benghazi on that fateful night two years ago tell Fox News in an exclusive interview what really happened when four Americans were massacred by terrorists. These men risked their own lives to save Ambassador Chris Stevens and the other Americans. They were repeatedly told to stand down and wait. But instead, they made a decision to rescue fellow Americans, going in the direction of gunfire. Their rescue mission, unfortunately, too late. I gave you that 30 minutes back, and I gave you some air power. Would Ambassador Stevens and Sean Smith be alive today? Yes. Uh, to me, if without the delay, they would still be alive. My gut is yes. You in on that? I would strongly believe if we'd have left immediately, they'd still be alive today. With me now, Sean Smith's mother, Pat Smith. Good evening, Pat. Hi, Judge. Pat, this has to be so hard for you to watch, but what is your reaction to the first-hand account by the men that tried to save your son that night, saying they believe that had they been allowed to go when they first wanted to, they might have saved him and Ambassador Stevens, but instead were told to stand down. That's correct. That's what they said. Do you believe them? I'm, them? Yes, I absolutely believe them. Who, who else am I supposed to believe? The people that didn't tell me anything, like the State Department? I kept begging them to tell me what happened. They wouldn't tell me. So now I get the, the, the information that I've been waiting for. I, I've needed, I, I've got to finish processing this so I can go on with my life. Right now, my son is dead and three other guys are dead and I, I just think of them as my sons and my sons were all, they're all dead now and they were abandoned and, and just left to die there. How does it make you feel when you hear these guys say that without that stand down order, that all what of them stand might down be order? Alive. What, a, what stand down order? The government says they didn't give it. I don't believe them. They lied to me. They've been lying to me. And they will continue lying to me to cover up their own little selves, their own political stuff. You know, Pat, you and I spoke almost two years ago when this first happened, and, and the one thing that you've wanted to know is, is what happened, to use your words, to my son that night. And, you know, as I watched that Brett Bear special, I couldn't help but when I heard one of the men say that your son was, I think he said he was online talking to a friend. Had you ever heard that before? Yes, and I did hear that, and he was talking to a friend, and he said, if we survive this, uh, I don't know, I can't think of the exact words anymore. He didn't think they were going to make it. Pat, the House Intelligence Committee came out, and they said that there was no stand-down order, and, you know... They lied. How do you they feel... They lied. How do you feel about uh, America and the government and... What would you say to President Obama and Hillary Clinton now? <laughs> don't, don't ask me that. I, I don't like them very much. I love my country. I love my country desperately. But we've got some rotten people in there running it. Rotten people making decisions. And I don't like that. I love my country. I do not like the politicians and I want them out. They killed my kid, and they killed the other three guys, and they're going to keep on doing it as long as we keep them in there. They make rotten decisions. Pat, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Our hearts go out to you tonight, but hopefully you can get on with some kind of closure now. Thanks again, Pat. You take care of yourself. I, 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 I want Hillary to come up and say, it was me, I made a mistake, I blew it, I'll never do it again. Do you think it was a mistake? I don't. Or, do you think it was a mistake or a lie, Pat? I think it was a lie. Pat but Smith. I think she made a bad decision, is what I think.
Pat Smith. I think she made a terrible decision. I think a lot of them did. Pat Smith, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Judge. All right. And with me now, retired U.S. 